I'm Dr. Tina Moore. I am a chiropractor and naturopathic physician. I specialize in training doctors like yourself on how to build an online and digital marketing presence and how to help that drive your brick and mortar, whether you want to see patients in real time or see them on telemedicine virtually or simply uh, have residual income sources. So that said, I feel like I'm an expert on what I'm about to talk to you about. I'm going to discuss with you engagement and adherence. So I'm gonna give you some tactics to help keep patients engaged from home during this current global health crisis. So uno, numero uno one, <laughs> the most important thing I want you to do is get all of your patients currently and past onto one email list and I want you to start emailing them regularly. Now you can use your EMR, and I know that sometimes EMRs have the feature to allow you to send out bulk emails, but I'm telling you they're probably not gonna get opened because patients don't wanna to have to log into the portal to see them. So what I would suggest is that you use a another platform that's not an EHR, an EMR. Use something that is an email hosting service. You are aware of some of them, I'm sure. Go ahead and get all of your patients' emails in there, tag them or flag them as a patient, and then I want you to send out an email to them, letting them know what's going on currently with your practice, that you're converting to telemedicine because of what's happening, and how you're gonna be emailing them two to three times a week with high quality content, where you're gonna teach them tips and tricks and strategies to stay well, you're gonna be discussing the current health crisis and keeping them up in real time, and you're gonna be delivering them value, lots and lots of value. I would send that email a version of that several times because the chances of that first one getting opened are low if this list is what we call cold, meaning it hasn't been engaged before. So if your list is cold, which most doctor's lists are, I want you to send out that welcome email. And at the bottom of it, you have to get permission from them to opt in or to be a part of that newsletter list or that to subscribe, if you will. So I would make sure that you list in there and just say, hey, it's important to me that we you know, stick to the rules, so I need you to click here to let me know that you're interested in receiving these emails moving forward. And give them a ton of value in that email. Congratulate them on taking good care of themselves during this time. Let them know you're there for them. Let them know that you're gonna be leading them through this. What you really need to do right now is step up as leaders in your profession and in your practice. Whether you like it or not, you're leaders in your practice. You're leading your patients. They are scared. I can tell you this for certainty because of what I'm hearing online on social media. They are scared, they are unsure, they don't know how to proceed, and just having the ability to connect with you virtually on a telemedicine appointment that you charge them for and to get a doctor in real time to answer some of their most basic questions is really valuable. So if you can be delivering some of that information on your emails, you're gonna be winning. So you email them two to three times a week. You can email them something in depth. I would use references if you're gonna go into detail. You can also email them short little tidbits, tips and tricks. Um, I'm a naturopathic physician. I love dry skin brushing. I love teaching them. Um, if you're doing a lot of physical medicine, you can teach them stretches or exercises or how to use a tennis ball to roll out their trigger points or whatever's ailing them or how to press on acupressure points. Whatever it is that you're doing telemedicine, or I'm sorry, in the office, you can translate that into these emails. You can embed videos into the email. You can upload them onto different places like YouTube or uh, you know, did the different varieties of places and then you can embed that into the emails or you can have a click through where they can go watch the videos. So you can just do a tutorial like this for a few short minutes, three to five minutes, give them some valuable information and have that as be part of the email. Um, you can email them current updates that you're reading in the scientific literature because not everybody is adept at deciphering the literature. So you could be a translator of what's happening in real time so they understand you know, a little bit better how immunology is working, how, you know, how viruses work, et cetera. Take the fear away and instill the value and be a really good leader to your practice and to your patients and they will love you. And at the end of this email, I want you to write every single time what's called a call to action. So that's either gonna route them back to a blog post that you've made, a video you've made, or more importantly, you're asking them for more business. Meaning if you use these words, if you found this information to be helpful, please help me by sharing it out with three friends or family. You can even, I wouldn't say that every single time, of course, I would say something also maybe like, send this to your mom or send this to your aunt, you know, your favorite aunt or your best friend 
or if this resonates with you, please send this to a coworker and a friend that you think it would be helpful for. Something like that, so there's a call to action, and what that's doing is actually growing your practice, which is cool. And the very last thing you need to do is to remind them consistently that you are offering telemedicine. So let them know you're there, let them know how to schedule, let them know that you're there for them and that they can get an appointment with you readily and easily, whether it's calling the office or clicking a link to schedule, but make sure you let them know that you're still available and that you're in business and that you're here to help them. Thank you so much. 